Hey, what's up, YouTube? You're watching uh, the Joker trailer with the boys. Um, ah, 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should I say that... the Joker 2? How does he live, actually? Was it Quali Adu? Quali Adu? Yeah, I don't know. Quali Adu? Quali Adu? It's French, so. Yeah, uh, Folly's already seen it. Uh, me and Curtis have not. Um, Really enjoyed the first one, mm. to be honest. Mm. Um, I, I, I have suspicions on what this one's going to be like, and I don't know if I'm going to like it or not, but mm. I'll discuss that after. Um, but yeah, uh, without further ado, let's watch the trailer. Ah, ah. That's the let. That's, 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 that's the that's the let all laugh. What, what's, what's his laugh again? It's just like hee hee hee. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's a really good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suddenly appear. I, I, I always forget Lady Gaga. Oh, that's it. I'm sorry, right now. To make us whole. So he's in the asylum. To balance the fractures mm -hmm. within ourselves. He actually kind of looks more joker like I'm nobody. Good. Iconic. I haven't done anything else in my life like you have. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. Not another number. Oh, wait, so she's a. Let's get out of here. So she's in the asylum as well. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's a bit confusing. Like... I don't like it when they do too much of a change in the story, but. Ah, we're getting a love story. Ah, oh, I think we what? <laughs> That's it. We love a wacky Phoenix sprint down the street. <laughs> yes. Thomas, what's changed? Are I want to see the real you. <laughs> That's a thick shot, man. Jesus Christ. Wow, that was a sick in shot. Jeez. I want to take tenth of oh no, it's fourth of October. Wow, wow, wow. I thought it was a tenth of April. Mad. That'd be fine. It's not gonna go anyway. Mad, 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 mad. Uh yeah, that, that I was gonna say that final shot's like crazy because uh the the do like obviously the camera's on the other side, so he has to line himself up with her draw on that. Mm, yeah. I feel like it's it, like and the camera's stationary as well, so it's, yeah. like, it's like it's very very. That wasn't the first take. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What I this film, I was like just didn't care about. Even though I enjoyed the first one, the sequel, I was like I don't Jesus. I don't care for it at all. Um, and then I watched the trailer, and I was like, it's you son of a bitch, I'm in. I mean, could this be like the first film where the lead gets a back to back Oscar? Has that ever happened before? <laughs> like, has that I don't ever know if you can happened? get an Oscar for playing the same character, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. It probably hasn't happened before. But it's not, well, he's not going to win Best Actor because Doom 2 is going to take everything. Oh, it's snap. Um, I, 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 oh, yeah, it would be the same the same award season as well. Um, Yeah, I was going to say, uh, just my musical vibe. My though, isn't it? Oh, apparently it is a musical, but I don't know. Yeah, that's what. But you'll not know what is real though. So that's that's what I was going to say. I think, I think the whole movie is literally just going to be in his head. I'm pretty, oh I, I, no! I, don't say that. Yeah, it pissed me it, off. I, I think you can tell like that it keeps cutting between them and the asylum and them out, but there's no way that they get out. Yeah, because why? Why would they have their own show so, in front of the audience? Here's my. 200 IQ theory. The first mm. movie, it's kind of like um, teasing that he's not teasing, but like he keeps going on dates with this woman, but then mm -hmm. it was all in his head at the end. Mm -hmm. I think they'll turn it on its head where Harley Quinn will be his doctor, mm -hmm. but she will actually be in love with him. So mm -hmm. he's going to think that she actually wasn't 
mm-hmm. but like she's actually going to be like equally insane. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think I think that's that would be the 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 little twist they'll do. Um, I, I think she will be a doctor, but I don't think. Yeah, I think her being a patient is in his head. Mm-hmm. But I think yeah, mm. I think she will be crazy though. Do you want to my fifty pence? Go on. I'll put my fifty pence in there. I think. Um, he will again. He'll be from the last film. I do believe the events are true, and he's been captured. Mm-hmm. He'll start in the asylum. Um, those scenes at the start will be him just trying to like cope and get used to it, being dragged around and all that good stuff. And he will meet her, but I think she's also going to be an inmate, and mm-hmm. they're just going to ditch the fact that he was, she was his um therapist. Yeah, they could do that. Be fair. I think she'll. Either then again, because we saw the scene where she was out though, so maybe she wasn't an inmate. But I feel like at some point she must be inside because there's a few clips where them two look like they were both not hostages. What do you call them? Well, they are not like, like in, they're like inmates. In, yeah, 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 they're yeah. in the so they're in the asylum. Like, like, like patients. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like because uh, uh, but but that scene at the end, obviously, like she was outside. But but the problem with this is there's no there's no. There's no indication of what is fact and what is just in his head as seen yeah. from the end of it. And like, I don't know if that's going to bother me or not because I kind of feel like Joaquin Phoenix could be a really solid Joker. Like, genuinely, he could play the part. Like, the first one, he would never have made a good Joker because he was a bit of an idiot. Like, it, it was just the story was really compelling and dark and it kind of gave a bit more of a life, like a, a realistic look. At well, what he, like, like, he like leans in like the more insa- insanity at the end, doesn't he? Like, rather yeah. than like, he's less, he's still a bit of an idiot at the end, but like, yeah, just, like, like that crazy. But he, he's not like a maniacal, you know, possibly a tip of tap with a Batman type level criminal. Yeah. He's just like, you know, starting a movement i guess where like i thought because the the end of the first one they're always saying that the joke is always gonna throw a spin on what his or- origin story was like there's so many origins of him that no one knows actually knows how he started and that was like potentially one of them yeah. where it was just a whole film was kind of pointless and it was just him rambling a lot of spiel like because it looked like uh, from the first one like he killed his therapist because he walks out with blood on his feet all right yeah so i didn't know if they were kind of saying he was doing all that to just get a kill off like and you know confessing all the stuff um and then this one might be like that phase two where actually just how harley quinn gets into it but yeah i think i I just kind of feel like they're just gonna sort of say he's still insane we're just taking a very loose inspiration and we're gonna try and make another absolute box office masterclass on you know being psych psych um yeah, just, just being mental. Yeah, being yeah. very true. It's, uh, it's gonna be a lot of um, singing in it. Yeah. Uh, I, d- I just I don't know. Are we gonna get another hit? If, if you get if you've got Lady Gaga, <laughs> she'll be dropping have, the air. You've got to have some singing in there. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if Joaquin can sing though. Who knows? No, no, he definitely. He don't, be I don't know. Like a lot of actors can sing just randomly. Yeah, yeah. It's just a part of the resume. Joaquin's voice is horrible. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's it's like... really like. He just, he just sounds like a typical guy. He sounds but wheezy, like, man. Like, yeah. He sounds very wheezy. Uh, maybe a belt one out. Like, I don't know. Hopefully the, the musical aspects add to the story rather than just get daft. Yeah. Oh, I think, you know it, I think I mean? it'll be daydreaming and then, like people will just be dancing around, to be honest with you. But I think it'll be like a part of the... I don't know. It's like in High School Musical, they start dancing and then afterwards it's like they never danced in the first place. They're well, just like, yeah. What was that? Like, that's like my only musical like reference here. But uh, in this, I don't think, I think it'll be the same where it's like dangerous. Well, look, what, what was that Ryan Gosling film that he was La, in the musical? La La Land. La La Land, La, La Land basically mm. was just crazy. In it. Well, and that was just a like, yeah, like anyone see, oh, don't want to waste time, it's trash. But like, that just got stupid with the music in the like, the plot. And it just, it was a mess. Like, and I hope that this doesn't try. Uh, I don't really know, to be honest, because I'm surprised they made a second one based on how well, but how fragile the, the like the story would go. Like I feel like it's so easy to fuck it up. Yeah. Um. And this is a bit of a random turn, I guess. But maybe maybe making it an actual like super villain film when actually having Batman in it would just ruin it anyway. But I, I just think he would just be I think so I good. personally think it would ruin it. I think I think stuff needs to be more standalone now than having yeah. to rely on something else. However, 
But how can you have a Harley Quinn and Joker film with no fucking Batman? Yeah, I think it's because it's Christ. They're going to throw in like Mr. Freeze to do it. You know, like the way I see it, so people have always said, so movies are like adaptation, like movies are classed as adaptations of the comics, but they never are. You know, like when someone starts a new comic run, it's just a completely original story. Yeah. Like that's what a movie is basically. So like this could have been like its own, like there could be, there could have been a Joker comic, which could have been the story from the movie. Um, I, and it would just be like eh, yeah, that's fine like, i feel like you're just always missing something like it's like trying to say let's do a tony stark film when he was younger <laughs> but he never wears the suit let's yeah. do that let's do, do a thing about the story of like, yeah it is, it is like, weird having a joker without Batman, like, you, but, you, i understand the first film but like god's sakes man don't don't starve us like <laughs> and then give us a shit joker in the actual batman thing where like this oh, i don't know i just because he's such a good actor, he's just so, he's got that like, you know, like how Willem Dafoe was kind of born to play the, the Joker as well. I feel that like wacky and it, it like, look like, obviously you can't see him there, but like, top left, like that is someone that you could believe is this guy, like if he was, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I just I think it's just such a shame um, that they're not actually using him for his potential, but I don't know, because... Uh, then again, prove me wrong. If it creates an aura like the first one did, because I honestly felt a little bit sick. Yeah, it's in a good it? way, but I felt like I felt so. Um... It's a, it's an uneasy film. Uneasy right? film. You just follow this guy getting like bullied, and just like he's gonna snap at any second. Yeah, yeah it's just like, like... It, it, it ends, and you just you you are left with something, but I don't know what <laughs> what it like. It kind of can be summarized as you you, you do take you take a bat like you, you. I don't think anyone got off straight away. I think everyone was like. Jesus, like, I think the the tone and the style of the film it just wouldn't suit having a man dressed as a bat. Like, it yeah, is, it's more, uh, it's more of just like a man mentally struggling and in fighting his own. Yeah, they just decided to put the the Joker like, it, it, yeah. yeah, and just slap the Joker on, and because he's like, oh, the Joker's crazy. But, to be fair, could they not? They could have, if, if you want to be clever, they could have added someone like the Batman to his, like, psychosis meltdowns, you know, when he's, like, fixed. I think there'll be things. some sort of Batman. He's, well, it's like the, the like Wayne, the Wayne were in the first movie. Yeah, um, yeah. So. that was real, though, I think. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, I, don't well, I don't know if it was real. Because like, like, his, <laughs> his mom was, like, the... Actually, was, was like it implied the... that his, like, was dad? <laughs> his mom was, was, no, it was just, like, his mom was, it was having his incest. I'm sure it was like a. Um... No, his mum was a maid, wasn't it? Like the the Joker's mum was like. No, a, you know, no, no, Bruce. No, no, because that that was all a lie the whole time. I thought it was. Um, uh, thing so... he was his dad. It wasn't. I think. Oh, he actually so that's what she was saying. So she was saying him. that the whole time, and then when she died, that's why he killed her because she found out it was like. I think uh, I can't remember who was his dad. I'm sure it was his like it was some sort of like in family inbred thing. But then <laughs> like it was something. I don't remember that. Either, it was but... proper like mate. Like when that film ramped up, it was. Because that's why he kills her, like, yeah. Because he um he gets a, uh, I think he runs away with that uh, booklet which has his uh, birth uh, oh, thing yeah. he's in, and that's when he finds out that his mom is like, oh, I don't know, I don't want to say what I want to say because the, the it's very heavy what his mom was doing anyway, and uh, and I think that's why he even made up a lie for what she was, yeah, when he was a, when the joke was a kid anyway. Hmm. It's just it's a horrible film, honestly. It's a it's a really. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dark film. Yeah, it's a really it, horrible it, it, film. Again, like. James makes a good point, though. It's literally that could have been just its own film, but you just you whack the Joker on there and it makes yeah. money, basically. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, yes. I don't know, here's a bit of fun trivia for you. You know, in the first film, do you know when he tools the, um, the box off the wall? I don't know if you remember it, where he's like, it's where you check in, I think, in the yeah. Joker factory. Oh, right, yeah. And he tools it and tools it and tools it until he like, clocks it off when he like snaps. All improvised. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm not surprised to be honest with you. Like, uh, he's a uh, yeah, guy. we'll have to see what what it's like when it's released. I've got my reservations, but I don't know, I could be wrong. Um, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a like, subscribe, and we'll be doing more thrill reactions like this. Um, if you'd like to see that. Um, we've also got other stuff on the channel as well. Maybe recommend some trailers that you'd like yeah. to see us react to if I haven't already. I'll try and stay away from them as best we can. Yeah, I'll, I'll be staying away from, from now on. Yeah, Um. but without further ado, uh, we'll end the video here. So that's goodbye for now. Goodbye. Bye.